Hi, I'm Captain Alan White. I'm Captain Javi Castillo. And this, this is, is today's, today's catch. We're gonna show you how to make a peach margarita. We're gonna have a couple drinks while we wait on the entrees to finish. This is a little summertime favorite at my house. I hope it's a summertime favorite at yours after you learn how to make it. It's a real simple margarita. First you start with about seven ounces of any kind of tequila you wanna do. You're gonna put in half as much Cointreau. So about three and a half ounces. After that, we top it off with some sweet and sour. Enough to cover the ice good. Two tablespoons of sugar, very important. And just cut you up a fresh peach. Put it right on top, cut it up loosely, no big deal. Now we just need a lid. We'll be able to do this. <laughs> Make sure you cover it. Turn it, blend it on high. So everything's nice and blended. It should take a few minutes. All right. Blend it till it's nice and smooth. Get the chunks gone from the peaches, the chunks from the ice. Should have a nice consistency when you're done. Thank you, sir. I serve these very simply, no sugar on the rim, sugar's already in it, no lime on the rim, not needed. Makes for a nice summertime treat, a little peach margarita action there for you. That's what I'm talking about. So next we're going to be cooking an entree. I'm doing some stuffed trout here for you. Give me crab stuffed trout in a nice cream sauce, going to bake everything, super simple dish, very easy to make. Very easy to make. Don't be scared to do it at home. Cheers, Captain. Cheers. Javi, I know you've had stuffed flounder before, but have you ever tried stuffed trout? No, sir. Everybody fries their trout. I, I like to try to do something a little different with it. Everybody, you know, you get tired of the fried trout after a while. So we're doing something a little different today. You know, the stuffed trout, with the cream sauce. It's gonna be a little different, but it's very tasty. After the break, we're gonna get started on our entree. More to come, stay tuned. What's up, Mano? What you cooking? Una deliciosa carne de chivi. Tengo costillas, pollo, fajitas, de todo. Todo está muy sabroso, pruébenlo. You guys know we don't speak Spanish, right? Go ahead, try it. Buenísima, ¿verdad? Dios mío, esta deliciosa. Está riquísima. Impresionante. Impresionante. HEB sells more meat than any other store in Texas and always at great prices. What's inside a can of Old Bay? A dock worker from Locust Point, a doctor from Sinai, a hairdresser from Patterson Park, and a firefighter from Glendon. There's a fourth grader from Friendship Academy and a lacrosse star for Boys Latin, a Catholic priest and an Orthodox rabbi, a grandma from Dundalk, and a drummer from Hamilton. What's inside a can of Old Bay? You are Old Bay. For 75 years, it's been the can that connects us. Touch 
the rainbow. Have a Cuervo. Have an audience. Wow, we can't hold you all. Ah, Dorothy. Have a souvenir. Have a sensitive side. Have a second thought. Just don't have any regrets. Cuervo, have a story. Back from the break, I'm gonna show you how to make this delicious entree. Some crab stuff, flounder, nice easy white cream sauce. First we're gonna start, one egg. Mix your egg up, third cup of mayo. Super easy, man. Like I said, don't be scared to try this at home. Mix that up a little bit. We're gonna add to that. Quarter cup chopped green onions. Quarter cup of sauteed and chopped, chopped and sauteed, red pepper. Mix that up nicely. Throw in about a half cup of panko breadcrumbs. To absorb the moisture. If it's too moist, add some more breadcrumbs to it. Don't be shy. Cooking is a visual thing. If it looks good, it's gonna taste good. All right, add to that. We're gonna add to that a little pinch of cayenne pepper. Everybody likes cayenne pepper, right, Hobby? A little bit of seafood seasoning. This is Old Bay, but you can use whatever you have handy. Stir that up, a little pinch of salt, and some black pepper. Good to go. Now, what do you want for your crab stuffing? Well, you want lots and lots of jumbo lump crab meat. One pound jumbo lump crab meat. We don't skimp here in South Texas. Just kind of add that, fold it in, don't break the crab up too much. Are you getting hungry, Captain Hobby? Absolutely. Because this is making me darn hungry, I tell you what. One more thing, the juice from half a lemon. There you go. It's just that simple. Simple crab stuffy. You can also use it to make crab cakes if you like. Any excess you have left over makes a great crab cake. All right. For lack of a better term, I'm gonna roll these trout fillets up in what we're gonna call a pinwheel with the crab stuffy. Don't be shy at home, use your hands when you cook. Cooking is all about feel, appearance, and taste. Don't be afraid to use your hands. Roll it up all nicely. Start with the tail side first, finish with the head end. Just make your nice little lump of crab meat. Roll it up, like I said, tail side first, press it into the sides, just like that. Don't worry about making it perfect. We're not building a church here. We're making food. Good food for good family and good friends. That's what it's all about. Real Sportswear shares this philosophy 
with us. That's why Captain Javi and I are part of the Real Sportswear team. It's about friends, family, and fun. And in this case, good food, my friend. So are you gonna season that trout after you roll it? I am, Javi. I'm going to use some seafood seasoning. I'm gonna use a little bit of Old Bay, and then I'm gonna put one pat of butter <clears throat> on top of each pinwheel, if you will just to keep it moist. Give it a little extra moisture. It's gonna be cooking in some heavy cream and some cooking sherry, but just gives it that little extra something. And everybody needs that little extra something. Tell me, Avi, what's your least favorite customer to have fishing? I have a lot of people that come personally that are hungover. I don't know how you feel about it, but they have a hard time fishing on my boat, especially in that hot sun if they're really, really hungover. It just depends on how they handle it. I have some people that show up and are hungover and they're a blast, and I have some people that show up and are hungover and just want to sleep on Yeah, the so, some people don't ha hang handle hangovers as well as others. Some people don't handle hangovers as well as others. And then you have those ones that are just hammered all day and those are really fun. They can be a big challenge. I don't know about you, but I've had a couple fall off the boat on me. I've, I've had a couple do some interesting things, but luckily nobody's got hurt. I've seen some crazy things on the water. Yes, it's, it's all about staying safe out there. You got to stay safe. My boat's like Vegas though. What happens on the boat stays on the Exactly. Boat. Very good. I like that hobby. <laughs> all right guys, so if you got any leftover uh, crab stuffing, Set it aside, saute it, makes great crab cakes. Serve it with your fish, it's all good. So Alan, after you roll these, in order to keep them from opening up on you, do you have to toothpick them? You can toothpick them, hobby, and that's something you guys can do at home. I like to kind of roll them firmly and smash them a little bit, just a little bit of pressure. It tends to keep them in form, that way I don't have to toothpick them and worry about taking it out when it's done. And when you're cooking for family, it really doesn't matter. It's all about taste. Looking good is secondary. As Javi knows. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so simple sauce on these, super simple. You're not making a separate sauce on top of the oven. You're making the sauce right in the pan with the fish. So for the, for the sauce, we're gonna start with one cup of heavy cream. Don't be shy, everybody likes heavy cream. Add to that one third cup cooking sherry. That's it. It's that easy. Nice little stir. Pour it in with the fillets. Over a little bit, under a little bit. All right, on top of that, a little bit of Old Bay on each one. Javi, would you do me a favor and go to the refrigerator and get me a pat of butter, please? It's on the top on the right door. Thank you, sir. And on top of these, we're gonna put one pat of butter on each one, just a little sliver, just to keep it from drying out and splitting and coming apart. It's gonna give it a little bit more moisture, it's gonna help our sauce. Butter makes everything better. All right, we just put this in the oven at 375 degrees for 25 minutes, along with our bacon wrapped asparagus. All one easy peasy, done at one time dinner. I'll take the top, you take the bottom, hobby. Sounds like a night at the hidden door to me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all ready to go A to Z with H and B and me? Apple in the backpack, crayons, despicable Elmer's photos, grapes. You love my name on my pencil case. Quench is the rule, the star was never cooler. Tech gear, you look at VIP. Hey. Wide rule of college, extra knowledge. Can I write a letter to VIP? Zip it up! Woo.
Find everything you need to fill the locker and the lunchbox for less, all in one place. It's as easy as H-E-B. Now you say from A to Z, with back to school at H-E-B. The Bubba Blade is the ultimate sportsman's knife. For fishing... One cut and you're through, guys. Kind of like butter. Just like butter. Hunting. You can see it just took that right off. Camping. Or just carving up meat at the barbecue. You've got a sportsman in the family. They're going to want to have a Bubba Blade knife. The super sharp edge and the large patented handle that gets sticky when wet makes the Bubba Blade the perfect sportsman's knife. The handle protects your hands from the blade, and the trigger grip and thumb pads let you have total control of the knife. The Bubba Blade comes in different styles and sizes to fit the need of every sportsman. So whether it's for the boat, hunting, camping, or just for slicing meat at a barbecue, the Bubba Blade is the ultimate knife for the sportsman. Go online at BubbaBlade.com to order your Bubba Blade today. talk, it would tell you about the men who built the first Liberty ship at Sparrows Point, about the kids who rode the number eight streetcar every Saturday to the Waverly, about the day Harry Truman came to dedicate the new Friendship Airport, about the greatest game ever played. It would tell you about the grand department stores that lined Howard Street, and about the seven African Americans who on that same street staged the nation's first lunch counter sit-in about the tall ships that sailed into the inner harbor for the bicentennial, about Wild Bill cheering us to victory in 83, and an old train warehouse that became a diamond. If this can could talk, it would tell you about the generations who have gathered in backyards, in screen porches, in dining rooms, to celebrate the original flavor of Baltimore. Old Bay, for 75 years, it's been the can that connects us. This stuff's finishing up. It's been in the oven about 25, 30 minutes. Take a look at it and see what we got here. Looks like the fish, looking very delicious. Then we got the bacon wrapped asparagus, looking good also. Thank you, Javi. Very good. We'll plate you one up here so you know what it looks like. Gonna grab a couple of these guys, slide them off. There we go. Little extra sauce in the mix. Hard to beat that, my friends. There you go. A little green onions, top it all off. Give it a little personality. There we go. Couple of these guys right there. Thank you, hubby. Just a little rice to our mix.
Thank you, sir. Just a little parsley to make it glimmer. Today's catch, serve fresh. That's good eats, my friend. Thanks for joining us today on today's catch. We made some peach margaritas today, started off with a nice little appetizer of some ceviche, and finished it off with an entree of stuffed trout and bacon wrapped asparagus. Just a little something for you and your family to enjoy. Hope you all have a good time with it as much as we did. Cheers, guys. Thanks for joining us today on today's catch. Please join us on the next episode. Today's catch. Live. Make sure you wash your hands after you pee, because if you don't, it's got a little wang in it. <laughs> you don't want the wang. <laughs> All right, on today on today's catch, today on today's catch, we made y'all a little stuffed flounder. We got a TV. Make sure to use your handy loose fishing pliers to turn your margarita machine on and off. <laughs> She's still trying to figure out the drink over there. Are you about ready to make one for me? I'll coach you. <laughs> What's up, Mana? What you cooking? Una deliciosa carne de chivi. Tengo costillas, pollo, fajitas, de todo. Todo está muy sabroso. Pruébelo. You guys know we don't speak Spanish, right? Go ahead, try it. Buenísima, ¿verdad? Dios mío, está deliciosa. Está riquísima. Impresionante. H-E-B sells more meat than any other store in Texas and always at great prices.